Hey everybody, so in this video I wanted to talk about the SmartThings Hub and how I use it with a home motion sensor. In this case I have three of these in my setup by Echolink. So this is the first generation SmartThings Hub and right now you can get the second generation for $75 on Amazon. I just checked today and this Echolink home motion sensor that looks like that that one you can get for $29.95 so check that out if you're interested although there are several different models available that's the one that I've personally used uh, have three of those so smart things hub that's it right there it just needs power and an Ethernet connection once you have that you're good to go cool thing about the SmartThings Hub is that it uses Z-Wave so that's been around for a while and there are a lot of different objects that we can have it interface with so there it is mounted I just used a simple it's got a hole in the back so I hung it up there with a nice little nail and I'm gonna show you how I use it in my setup right I also have um, the GE wall switch that also is connected to the SmartThings Hub. It also uses Z-Wave. I have another video where I talk about that and how uh, I control that with Alexa, so make sure you check that out. But here I'm going to show you three different cases of how I use it. And then I'm also going to show you how I set it up, right? I'll show you the SmartThings app and how it all is set up uh, with IFT. All right, everybody, so before I show you how I've set it up in my situation here, I'm going to go through the app and show you how I've set it up in there, and then we'll see it in action. All right, so I'll start with the SmartThings app right here. And you can go into lights and switches, and these are some shortcuts where it shows uh, different I guess they're called uh, rules that I've applied uh, and I'll show you how I've set them up right here in the top right in the settings. So for example, in this video I'm talking about the motion sensor, right? So you can see here um, the third one, kitchen night lights. I've set it up. You can see that little blue rectangle on the left there where it says turn on when there is motion. So if I go in there, I can even change some other settings to fine tune it a little more. So the key here is during that time period right there, 12.36 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. That's when the motion detector, it's in my living room kitchen area. If it detects any motion, it's going to set the lights to 30%. And then back here, we can see which switches, as it's called, are involved. In just a moment. So here we can see that it's going to use two uh, Philips Hue lights, kitchen number two and living, which is a strip I have behind my entertainment center. So uh, during those hours, if the motion detector detects any motion, it will turn those lights on. Right, so that's kitchen night lights. I have the same for room night light at the bottom here and office night light. Each motion sensor in that room will also turn on certain lights at a, during a certain time of the night. And after a couple of minutes, uh, they will turn off. You can change that behavior as well, right? So there's a lot of things that you can fine tune here. Another one with the motion sensor is motion welcome. So once again, turn on when there is motion. At the top, Z-Wave L, that's just the motion sensor in my living room, L for living room. It will set the lights at 50% during these times, 6.30 p.m. to 12 a.m. So when I arrive home, it will turn on all of these lights here that are mentioned in the switches, right? Hallway one, two, kitchen one, two, office, office light strip, room one and room two. This one's called motion welcome turns on the lights when I arrive, detects the motion in the living room, which is right where I come in, right? 
a uh, couple more office motion fan and room motion fan those will turn on the fans I have another video where I show the the, the GE electric switch the z-wave switch that controls the fans well those uh, are set off can be set off by the motion detector as well so for example off this motion fan it turns on when there's motion so here are the settings for the motion detector z-wave O is the one in the office and it takes 30 minutes maybe I should lower that but it's 30 minutes after motion stops that the fan will stop and that's pretty much at any time of the day and down here we have the switch that it will turn on, which happens to be the fan right here, right? Office fan. So anytime I walk into the office or my bedroom, the fan will turn on. Same thing for room motion fan. Office night light is the same thing. It's a night light, a couple lights that turn on in, in the office at night. So that's pretty much uh, everything that has to do. And you can see them here, which uh, means that I could turn them on and off. With, these are visual representations of what I was showing you earlier. So I could turn off all the lights with that if I wanted to. And all the ones that involved with the lights go off. I hardly ever use that though. That's just uh, something extra. Alright, and then in terms of if... Alright, so in terms of if... I'm going to show you how I uh, use the motion detector through the SmartThings Hub to have the uh, Nest thermostat refresh its temperature to a certain setting, right? Sometimes... Uh, if it de stops detecting your movement, it might uh, drop the temperature or change it from what you want, right? So this way, if I'm walking around and it detects my motion, it will set the temperature to whatever I tell it to. So let's look for the uh, SmartThings Hub first. All right, so the trigger is going to be any new motion. I can pick any of my motion detectors. I have three. I've only paired one because this is the only one I need really for what I want it to do. I'll hit next. And then, so if it detects motion with the motion detector I have in the living room, what's going to happen? And in this case, you know, it could be whatever you want, right? I can also make it so that it may be, uh, if you walk into a room, it turns on your entertainment center through the Harmony Hub. So that's also a possibility you can start activities on Harmony. But in this case, I just use it for a temperature refresh, right? These are the three possible outcomes from uh, the motion trigger in terms of the nest. So in this case, maybe I'll just choose a temperature. There's my nest, so that's good. And this, well, here I'll choose my uh, temperature that I wanted to uh, change it to. And then that's pretty much it, just hit next. And you're done. So here's an example of how I use the motion sensor in my bedroom. Now, the key here is to place it somewhere where it will detect your motion, but it won't always detect it, right? In my case here, it'll turn on, it does both turn on the fan when it detects motion and after 12.30 at night, it turns on the lights in my bedroom, the one you see reflecting off of the uh, TV. So I don't want it to detect my movement all the time, right? But just when I walk in or out of the room. So here, I'm gonna show you how that works. So for the fan, at least. So the fan is off. Motion detector hasn't detected me in a while because I've been uh, reading in bed. But as I walk out, it'll detect my movement. It'll trigger the uh, switch right here and we'll turn on the fan right and if it does it at night it turns on the lights for about three minutes and it turns them off so here it is right there should there it is it flickered when it detected me turns it on fan starts spinning depending on how you set it up within the app for smart things you can set that to maybe turn off uh, five minutes after it detects motion but this way Every time I walk in here, the fan starts spinning. So here's an example of the motion detector at night. We'll still turn the fan on, but it will also trigger uh, some here light bulbs that will turn on in a purple color and they stay on for a couple minutes. As you can see, so this is an example of how it 
can turn on the lights with that motion detector. All right, so the third example here for how I use the motion sensors, the motion detectors with the smart things is uh, with my Nest thermostat. So normally when you set up your Nest thermostat, it will be in a central location or somewhere where it'll catch you coming and going, right? So that way it'll activate whenever uh, it detects that. But in this case, in my setup, it's not really, uh, it's in the, it's by the entrance, but it wouldn't necessarily catch me every time I come in. So we get around that with this motion sensor here. So let's see, as it detects motion, it's right in front of my door. As I come in, it should switch the uh, nest temperature to whatever temperature I've, I've set. There you go, 79. So that works really well. In my case, the placement's key, right? There's my Nest thermostat. But as you can see, it's not always gonna pick me up as I come in, right? This is me coming in. But that motion detector is right there. So I've set it to always uh, change the temperature to 79, but you can change that, right? And that's also done via IFT. All right, everybody, so that was the SmartThings Hub and the Home Motion Sensor. Sorry I went a little longer than I expected, but I hope you found it informative or useful. If you did, I'd appreciate if you hit the like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and comment. I'm pretty good about responding. And uh, please uh, check out my other videos if you haven't. Thank you very much for watching.